the way it went for uh, Lost was uh, I was called in to audition for a guest starring part with a possible recurring. Um, I almost couldn't make it because I had like three or four other appointments uh, that day, so I almost didn't go in, but decided at the last minute to do it because it's three, four pages of dialogue. I didn't have time to study it, so. Uh, uh, but I went in anyway, and uh, the part uh, was said Jason on it, not Jacob. And the other character's name was Samuel. And there was a kind of a scene on the beach that was kind of similar to the scene that you see, you know, in the finale, but not. Uh, other issues there. And I did it. It felt good. And then I just left. And three days later, I heard that I got the part. And the uh, Supernatural one was a lot more... Uh, there wasn't any process that went into that. I just got a call that said, uh, you know, they want to offer you the part of Lucifer in Supernatural. Would you be interested in doing it? And I had to think about it for about two seconds and said, of course, yeah. I mean, Lucifer, are you kidding me? Lucifer is uh, someone who's been betrayed by the closest, closest people in his life. He's been betrayed by his father and he's been betrayed by the brother that he admired more than anything in the universe. And uh, he wants revenge. And what I like about Lucifer is he doesn't lie. He's honest, he's truthful, he's down to earth, uh, and he's got a real uh, need to get justice. I mean, you know, uh, when you're kicked out of your home, basically, by your father and your brother, and isolated and left alone forever, condemned, never to see your father's face again. I mean, that's, that's uh, devastating. It's devastating. It's mythological proportions. I approach Jacob as, as Jesus the carpenter, Jesus in, in the crowds, Jesus with the people. And, and uh, he looks at you and he can see into you and you feel like you're being penetrated by him and that he knows you. Yet he, he doesn't, he's simple and unassuming. And that's kind of the way I felt about, about Jacob. You know, if he does something miraculous, it's simple. And, but he can see into you, and he's got the wisdom to know what you're about, to see your soul. I mean, the argument has been set up from the very first uh, episode that you see me in The Man in Black. You know, we both have different points of view about, about people. Mine is that they're redeemable, and his is that they are not. And that's the more Christ-like, I think, I really loved working with Nestor throughout that last episode, the one, uh, the Richard episode. We did a scene where I had to, you know, kind of wake him up and slap some, uh, and, you know, uh, kind of slap him into shape by dunking him into this, uh, the ocean. And the first day we did the scene, <clears throat> we did parts of it, and the ocean was completely calm, and, you know, I got kind of wet here. The second day we did it, they had those 50-foot waves off the North Shore and some kind of gnarly swell coming into the beach that we were on and we had to time it perfectly so that there was a short set and every time the camera would break down right at that time. So we'd always end up going out there when there was like a 10 foot face wave coming at us and I'd be plowing his head into the, the face of the wave and we'd both be getting soaked and like dragged down into the ocean and that was, it seems like it wouldn't be fun but that was actually kind of fun. <laughs> um, and my favorite stuff on Supernatural has been that the, um, episode where I raised death. Um, and you know what I really liked? I really liked the scene between Bellamy and I where my wife comes to visit me when I'm Nick. I thought that was really sweet. She was, she was so sweet. And, uh, and I like working with the guys because they're funny, you know, and they keep things really light. And it's easy to be light as Lucifer when they're, you know, joking around and stuff. So I like that. Yes, the vessel is deteriorating. They put about an hour and a half of makeup, uh, like, um, silicone on my face and paint and and they paint veins in and and uh, you know they make me pale and <coughs> uh, it's sad to see me deteriorate because you know it, it, it just it, I mean it keeps me connected with the fact that you know Nick doesn't have an eternity to, to be there I mean he's just not strong enough to contain Lucifer and uh, I don't know. I don't know when or if that end is going to happen, but I am looking the worse for wear as the episodes wear on. <laughs> the last one I was looking pretty bad.